to... Hey everybody, welcome back. I'm Rob Booker. And in this lesson, I'm going to talk about how to place a trade in MetaTrader 4. So happy to be here. Nate's uh, running the cameras and super happy to have him here. And uh, Nate, if you have a question along the way, if something seems unclear, then you just interrupt me and let me know. All right, let's say that we're looking at the Euro US dollar. Uh, and let's say that current price is somewhere that you've decided you want to take a buy trade or a sell trade or whatever else. Or maybe you want to take a trade, but you don't want to take it yet. You want to make sure that it opens if price goes up or it opens if price goes down. Well, in this lesson, I'm going <clears> to, <throat> in this lesson, excuse me, <laughs> I'm going to describe to you how to get all that done. So if you're ready to trade from this active chart, what you're going to do is we're going to come over to this other camera right here and we're going to click on the new order window. Now, Nate, just let me know when I've got this. Got is that centered nicely? Is it right where it should be? Yes, that looks good. That looks all right. Hey, I'm going to come around here. Oh, yeah, that looks all right. Nice. OK, here we go. Um, there's a lot of different places to get the new order window up, but one of the best places is just with that new order button. Starts off with this completely irrelevant and stupid tick chart right here. This is the shortest term pricing with the bid and the ask, or the ask and the bid, or whatever. Um, sell price, buy price. Um, so nothing real special about that. Next, we have the symbol. Because we popped up the box when we were looking at the Euro US dollar, it's automatically defaulted to the Euro US dollar. But we can choose from all of the financial instruments available from our FX dealer and change it if we so choose. Next comes volume. As you know from our uh, PIP value and trade sizes lesson, we can choose volumes of one micro lot, one standard lot, and everything in between by either choosing from the drop down menu or typing it in on your keyboard. 0 0.01, 0 0.02, 1.0, and so forth. The smallest trade size that you can type in is 0 0.01, and that's a micro lot. That's the one you want to focus on. That's the one you want to use at the very beginning. The next thing you can set up right away is you can set a stop loss and a take profit. So let's say, for instance, that we want to buy the euro dollar. We're not going to set a stop loss and a take profit up yet. You could do it later on if you're really familiar with the levels that you want to use for your stop and profit target. <clears throat> but what we're going to do first is take a trade and then add the stop loss and profit targets. You can also add a comment in there. I don't know why you would do this, but you could add a comment in there like, I'm the king of the world, or something like that. The next box says type. And then it's defaulted at market execution. You can change that to a pending order or multiple close buy. Let's just do market execution to begin with. And let's click buy. This confirms that our order was accepted, or it may reject the order, and we have to start over again. And we click OK. What happens now is we have a trade open in our platform, but we can't see it right now. Well, we can see it. There's a dashed line running across the bottom of the chart that shows a buy trade that we took. It's a little green line on the chart right here. Now, we also, remember when we had that terminal window down below? We want to view that terminal window. So I'm going to click View and Terminal. And boom, we can find our Euro or pound dollar trade that we just took. I think that's the one we just took. Yeah, that's the one we took. We didn't take a Euro trade. We took a British pound trade. That's our trade right there. So let's move this box down. And let's change to the British pound US dollar chart. And we bought. So let's move our chart all the way over. So we bought it. And hopefully it will be going up. That would be great. But what if we want to place a stop loss and a profit target on our trade? What I'd like to do now is double click on the zeros in the stop loss and profit target windows. So just double click in there, and it pops up a box. Now, this box is where we can adjust our profit target and our stop loss. We can, for example, oh, it says modify. Stop loss or take profit must differ from the market price by at least 10 pips. OK. Let's see if we can close that out. Double click that again. And let's see why. There we go. Let's go back and let me rephrase what I just said. <laughs> 
I said double click on stop loss and take profit. No, don't do that. It will pop up a window where the options are not available. Double click on the price or the currency pair. Double click that. And then it pops up a box where you can modify your trade. So I'm going to look at price on the screen here, and I'm going to set a stop loss because it's a buy trade. The stop loss is where we will lose. So we want it to close automatically if the trade moves against us. Now, because it's a buy trade, what would moving against us be, Nate? Falling or rising? Rising. Rising would be profitable, so that's completely wrong. <laughs> we bought it. So if it goes up, we're making money. If it goes down, we're losing money. That means our stop loss, which is going to execute automatically if we're losing money, has to be lower than the current price. The current price is right here. So we could type in any price that's lower than that current price. So I'll grab the keyboard over here, and I'll see if I am able to type in a number. It might take a moment for the keyboard to start working. Double click on the box. Click right here and type one dot 3900. So I'll try to do 1.3, 1. Oh, I could just type it down here. That's fine. 1. Dot, let's do, do I have some numbers here? Where are the numbers? Oh, that's really small. That's really bad. That's hilarious. All right, let's go back here and see if we can see if we can just use the keyboard. Come on, keyboard. All right, the keyboard doesn't want to work. All right, let's try that again. Come on, keyboard. One dot. That's okay. One thirty. We don't want one thirty. Three, nine, zero, zero. All right. So this is a price below where we are currently. If I click. Oh, that's closing the trade. Oh, we got to start the whole thing over. It wouldn't let us modify the trade. Modify. Why is it not letting us modify the? Oh, I was trying to type it in here. It's in here. Okay. Yeah, we got to start this one over. Okay.